Hey, what is up Fishaholics? And today I'm out here on the north side of Montauk in the kayak and I'm just going to be doing some light tackle fishing. I've got my Islander fly reel here on my 10 weight Sage fly rod all set up so I'm going to hopefully get some fish on the fly. And then as well as I've got my new light tackle set up here from Ramsey Outdoor Store in New Jersey that hasn't caught any fish. So that's one of my goals today is to catch my first fish you know, hopefully a striped bass on my new light tackle setup from Ramsey Outdoor Store. And this new light tackle setup is a 7'6", medium power, fast action, Mojo Inshore St. Croix spinning rod rigged with a Penn Battle 2 spinning reel and 20 pound test Green Moss Power Pro braid. And then I have a 3 foot section of Blue Label Seaguar fluorocarbon leader here tied direct to a clip. And then I have a small little half ounce crippled herring on that clip right now, but I might switch to a variety of lures such as this small little quarter ounce bucktail. And uh, hopefully once I get my first fish on my new setup right here, I'll switch over to the fly and as well have some fun on the fly. But uh, I've got perfect conditions in my book. You know, I'm fishing off one of my favorite points on the north side of Montauk. And uh, you'd know the name of the point if you saw my earlier videos where I was actually surf casting off this point right here to a bunch of feeding and schooling striped bass that were blitzing on the surface in the beginning of June here. Today is June 5th and I figured because today is very similar conditions to two days ago that uh, you know there was probably going to be some fish here and there are fish, there are, there are birds, there are bait. So uh, I think I'm going to do pretty well today. Let's catch some fish. Fish on. That was a really weird bite. First fish on the new rod, baby, right there. What is this? Is this a bluefish? Don't be a blue. Oh, it's a bluefish. Little cocktail bluefish. I was hoping for the first striper on the new rod. Get in my hands. Right there on that little crippled herring. Look at that guy. Easy there, buddy. He's a perfect eating size. This fish ate it so weird. He must have ate it on the fall. That's why I didn't feel him. Nice little fish, though. See you later, buddy. Alright, well I was hoping for a bass for the first fish on my new rod and reel, but hey, right now I guess because I haven't caught anything, I'll take what I can get. I'm fishing, uh, you know, right here on the end of this point, right in this little bit of, uh, oh, there was a bite. Right in this little bit of rip that I have, there's a fish, fish on. Oh, I don't know what this is, might be another blue. I'm fighting like a blue. No, nice little striper. Hey, first striped bass on my new little setup here. That works out like that. Just on a little half ounce crippled herring. Woo! Look who showed up just when I started catching them. My buddy Mike Larson. About time you got here. First bass right here. <laughs> Not a monster, but a nice chubby little striper. Let's get him back in the water and catch some more. First striper on the new. Mojo Inshore St. Croix uh, spinning rod. All right, see you later, little buddy. Montauk Outfitter just hooked up. He's got line issues, though. Trying to, you got, you're gonna have to hand line it in. You got to hand them in. Hand line, hand line. Trying to fish two rods at once. Let's see if Mike can hand line uh, his fish in. He just got here to the spot right here to the location just when I caught my first bass and he already caught one I think the fish are turning on a little bit might be a blue there's there's all the above here today all right there we go hand lot <laughs> hand line in uh, his first fish of the day tons of birds around tons of bait Mike just got here caught his first fish Conditions are perfect in my book. I think we're gonna do pretty good and kill them today.
Oh, there was a bite. Just had a bite. Oh, there was another hit. They're nailing this thing, but they're not eating it. They're a little finicky today. Oh, there was another bite. There he is, got him. Missed them three times. Nice, this is a little bit bigger fish, I think. A little bit bigger fish. There we go, a little bit bigger bass. Wow. I've never fished with a pen battle, and the drag system on this reel is amazing. For a, for a 2500 reel, I can't believe how, how tight I can lock down the reel, or the drag. 12 pounds of drag on that little reel right there. This bass is a little bigger. Doing the same thing how I caught my first fish, basically just casting up tide and working this little crippled herring down tide and I'm kind of just slowly retrieving it and giving it a little subtle jig here and there and that's how they're eating it. Nice skinny little fish. Let's catch some more. Oh, there was a bite. Just had a good hit. Come on, hit it again. Come on, hit it again. Come on, baby. Well, I know where they're at, so let's reel it in real quick and cast it back out again. The funny thing is, is when I was here a couple days ago surf casting, I was catching my fish way out there. They were blitzing way out by these lobster pots or these lobster buoys. And right now I'm catching them, you know, right, right off the shoreline here. Maybe only around 50, 60 yards. There he is. Got him. There we go. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit. I'm not even giving these little schoolies a chance. Whoa, where'd that boat come from? Big catamaran. Striper City today. This one's a little bit on the bigger side. A little bit on the bigger side. Probably definitely the biggest one of the day right there. Definitely. Not a bad fish. Look at this. Crippled herring popped right out. Real skinny though. Real skinny. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, there was a bite. I missed them. They're being real finicky today, these fish. There he is, got him. This feels a little bit different, this fish here. Oh, now he's fighting, there we go. He kind of was just coming in like a piece of seaweed. Then he started to pull a little bit harder. Oh, it's a blue fish, little cocktail blue. I love this new setup though, I love it. Oh, you're gonna try, you're gonna really do that? You're gonna splash me? Uh, nice eating blue right there. I would totally keep this one if I didn't already have fish. That, that one's definitely been eating good, nice and chunky. Starting to rain out here a little bit. It's about that time. We're supposed to have torrential downpours at around 1 or 2 p.m. And uh, it's around 1 or 2 p.m. right now. But I'm not really going to be scared away from the rain. I'm going to keep fishing. The fish are biting. Can't leave the fish when they're biting just because of a little water. Just looking for one more fish, then I'm going to switch over to the fly. Oh jeez, look at this downpour coming towards me. Look at it, you can see it on the water. Oh, it just got to me. Oh, you can see it. You can see it coming. Damn. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to put on my rain pants. 
It is really coming down. All right, well that was quick. I just put my pants on, and right after I put my rain pants on, it stopped raining. That was a little bit of a tease, I guess, of what's to come. <laughs> Let's try and catch one more striper on my new rod here, my new setup, and then I'm gonna switch over to the fly rod and probably just troll around the fly. These fish that I'm catching here today are perfect light tackle fish for light tackle spinning gear. There he is. And a fly rod. Starting to rain again out here, but luckily I put my rain pants on and I'm good to go. Another bluefish. Uh-oh, now it's really coming down. Really coming down now. Nice little cocktail. Perfect eating. Look at this, to look at this tooth mark on him, or this bite mark. Looks like another bluefish tried to bite him. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> He's a survivor. Survivor bluefish. See you later, buddy. Yeah, decided to change it up a little bit. All right, Fisherholics, I'm taking my last few casts right now, and then I'm gonna start working my way back to the launch site. And, uh, you know, I trolled around for 20, 30 minutes with, you know, the fly rod, you know, hoping to get a little bit of a fly action bite going, but, you know, I couldn't make anything happen, not even a tap. You know, so then I switched back over to the light tackle spinning rod here, you know, throwing around this uh, half ounce crippled herring for the last 15, 20 minutes, and I haven't had a tap at all either. So uh, I decided, uh, you know, I might as well just call it for the day and uh, start working my way back to the launch site. And, uh, you know, the tide is low, so I have slack water right now. And that is probably one of the reasons why the bite completely just dropped off. But uh, all in all, I think, uh, you know, today was a pretty decent little outing and a couple hours of fishing. I got to catch some of my first few fish on my new setup here, my seven foot six medium fast action Mojo Inshore St. Croix spinning rod rigged with my Pen Battle 2 spinning reel from Ramsey Outdoor Store. And uh, if you want to know any more information about the setup that I was using today to catch some fish, just look right in the description below. And if, Or if you have any more questions or comments about today's video, just post the comment in the comment section below as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys out on the water.